at the window of enquiry of files what is the arrival time of madras bond train at quarter past 2 which platform and its departure time platform at number 2 and it leaves at quarter to 3 from where can i get the ticket from where is the ticket counter at window number 3 what is the fare to madura 50 rupees and 90 paise kuli please carry my luggage to platform number 2 sir i will charge 1 rupee for this luggage will you please move a bit of course make the best of whatever little room is available thank you i want to see the manager yes please what can i do for you i want to open an account with great pressure have have a seat please thank you how much do i have to deposit to open a saving account you you can open it with a minimum initial deposit of 100 rupees how many times can we withdraw money you cannot withdraw more than 5 times a month how much amount can be withdraw at a time usually ordinarily not more than 1000 rupees well I want to open a saving bank account. Can I open it in with joint name of my wife and myself? Oh yes, certainly of course. Why not? I also want a cheque book. We can give you a cheque book, but you must maintain a balance of at least low hundred and fifty rupees. That is right. Here are the forms. Please fill. this up and we will open an account for you and issue your passport as well as a sa check thanks good morning doctor good morning what's wrong i got called last night and since then i have been having severe pain in the left side of my chest let me see take deep breaths does it pain no doctor but i have rather loose motions we have to x-ray your chest for the time being i am prescribing tablets for the pain and mixer of digestion do not forget to come tomorrow you have pneumonia in the left side of your chest i will give you injections and if they don't suit you i will prescribe prescribable capsules oh pneumonia it's perfectly curable there is a no need to worry you take treatment regularly and you will be cured i will follow your instructions fully thank you very much Good morning doctor Good morning Not get well doctor I still have pain on the left side of my chest every now and then It shouldn't be so Have you taken precautions about the diet But you did not give any instruction about diet Listen avoid cold and hot items and you will be all right by doing so thank you doctor how plants make food learning objective food making in plants parts of leaf how do plants use their food non green plants independence of plants and animals balance in nature we see plants all around us man and all other animals depends directly or indirectly on plants for their food plants are the only living things which make their own food and also provide food for the others living things 
the plants make their food in the leaves therefore the leaves are called the food factory of the plant or the kitchen of the plant food making in plant the process by which green plants make their food is called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means putting together the green color of the leaves is due to the presence of green colored pigment called the chlorophyll plants make food their leaves on the other green parts of plant with its help of chlorophyll the chlorophyll in the leaves trap the sunlight the roots absorbs water and send it into the leaves through stem and the leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the air all these combine together and make food in leaves and release oxygen as a by product of the photosynthesis go fact a leaf leaves for a short time and is replaced by a new leaf as soon as a new leaf fully sub- spreaded out a little bud forms just above the point where the leaf star join the twin the oxygen released during photosynthesis gets mixed up with the air in the atmosphere this oxygen helps all living organism to survive the food thus produced in the taken all part of the plant the plant uses this food for growth that is for producing more branches leaves flowers fruits and seeds the rest of foods is stored in the form of starch the starch may be stored in the roots leaves stems or fruits parts of a leaf leaf is a very important part of plant a leaf contains a stalk a blade and a spatula the flat part of the leaf is called a leaf blade a leaf has a main vein running through the center of leaf and many sides veins connected to it the main vein consists of double pipeline of cells one carries water and minerals to the cells of the leaf and the other carries prepared food from the leaf to all cells of the plant on the other side under side of leaf are small opening between the cells called as stomata the plants breathe air in and out of through the stomata they can be seen through a powerful hand lens as a thinny white dots or can be clearly seen through a microscope how do plants use their foods plants prepare food in the form of glucose a simple sugar a part of it is burnt to produce energy a part of it is used for the growth of plant some extra food is stored in the form of starch in different parts of the plant such as roots stem leaves and fruits the animals usually eat those parts of plant which have starch for example we eat stem of sugarcane roots of carrot grains of corn flowers of cauliflower and fruits of some plants non green plants some plants like mushrooms and mold are non green plants they do not have chlorophyll hands they cannot make their food they get their food from dead and decay plants and animals there are some colored plants which have hidden green color for example the leaves of croton plant appear dark red they have green chlorophyll hidden by the red colored substance present in the leaves food is prepared in the leaves of such plants by the usual process of photosynthesis independence of plants and animals plants and animals cannot survive without each other all green plants make their own food and all animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for food this form of food chain 
the en sun's energy along with the water and carbon dioxide is used by the plants during the photosynthesis to make their food since plants produces food they are called producers the food prepared by plants are eaten by animals and human beings this gives them energy to work and grow plants also given out oxygen since the plants produce food they are called producers plants also give out oxygen which is used to animal in the turn animals and human beings give out carbon dioxide into the atmosphere this carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants and the cycle continues in this way the carbon dioxide oxygen balance in the air is maintained both by the plants and animal balance in nature a balance needs to be maintained between the number of plants and animals sudden increase in the number of animals may cause paucity of food and oxygen for them or sudden increase in the number of plants may lead to insufficient carbon dioxide needed by them during the photosynthesis process similarly sudden decrease in the number of plants or animals may disturb the balance in nature so nature itself maintains a proper balance between the number of plants and animals but human interferes have disturbed this natural balance if this continues for a long period the effect on our environment will be destructive in order to maintain this balance we need to protect both plants and animals nowadays many programs are being run by the government such as wildlife protection program vana mahotsava etc which promotes the plants of trees and protect of forests and sanctuaries people are made aware of harmful effects caused by the continuous cutting down of trees gofax banansi plants are also planted in shallow contains containers and the roots and the shoots are pronounced and young plants grow the branches are twisted and bent with wired so the adult tree may be less than 50 cm tall keywords pigment a substance that produces a characteristic color in plants or animal tissue stalk any cylinder support or connecting parts of plant paucity smallness of quantity insufficiency sanctuary place protected by law where birds and animals can live and be without human interference summary plants are the only living things beings which makes their own food and provide food for other living things leaves are green because of the presence of chlorophyll in it The process of food making in the leaves of plants is known as photosynthesis. Plants make food in their leaves using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Leaves have veins to carry water and minerals. Tiny openings called stomata to take carbon dioxide and green cells with chlorophyll to make food. Iodine solution is used to test the presence of stars. It is blue black color. the energy form flows through plants to animal and human beings